we have sunrise over the Sonoran Desert. Trying to get the full impact there. Walk over to this one, shall we? See this one. What'd they call this one? I don't know. Supposedly have a big organ pipe uh, cactus out here. And what she's something crystallized in the center. Uh, Teresa was telling us. I don't know. I didn't hear that. Yeah, she said it was the number. She earmarked the book. Oh yeah, she did. Okay, that's not till number nine. Well, here we are. Where are we at? <laughs> or <laughs> organ, organ pipe. Cactus National Memorial. That's where we are. Mo Just monument. Monument, you're right. M monument. Just on the border of uh, uh, Mexico and Arizona. And that's uh, what's standing up there behind us is, is the cactus. That, that this desert is known for. That's the monument. Right? Right. Okay. The view. Good thing we're not here in July. Yeah, I want to see number six. If I'm in the dry line, I'm If we're figuring this right, in the background there is Mexico and the sister park. That's what the booklet says. I think that's the visitor center way off in the distance over there. Then the campgrounds over there, that's Twin Peaks. Their cells on the tips of their arms, these cells go in a circle to form our beloved polymer cactus. A crack can occur when the growth cells form a straight line instead of a circle. If you, you could peel back the skin and tissue of this organ pipe cactus, you would see the comparison of a normal straw-like skeleton to a mutated skeleton branching out like fingers of a hand. Wow. It's real cool. Leaving Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument. Right, Charmaine? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, Monday, the 19th, about uh, 8 o'clock Arizona time. Uh, headed to Quartzsite, Arizona. This should be an experience. Talked to a couple people at the campground and uh, Oregon Pipe, and they, they said, well, either you love it or you hate it, so we'll see. Um, can't get over this great scenery. But we're on our way. I don't know if that's a sandstorm or uh, what's going on over there. It's 
it's dissipating a little bit. Anyway, this is the view uh, headed to Quartzsite. Nice mountains in the background. Well, here we are, state land, just uh, north of Quartzsite. Um, I guess that's BLM land, just north of us. Uh, I was informed this is state land. I thought it was BLM, BLM uh, land when we first pulled in. I think it's right off of Tyson Road. I'll give you the correct uh, the correct uh, uh, name of the road. But about a, not even a mile from uh, Quartzsite. Um, we were worried about the phone reception, but we've got uh, excellent uh, AT&T reception here, LTE, four bars, uh, nice setting. We're going to venture into Quartzsite to, uh, today and see the uh, monument and uh, visit a few shops in town. Um, kind of what I expected. Uh, it's, uh, it was, we got here yesterday about, uh, oh, three o'clock, three to four o'clock later than I thought we would, but we ran into some traffic on 10. Um, it's, uh, it was a little cold and uh, windy yesterday. It's cool today. It's, I think the high is only going to be up around 60, if that. Uh, nice sunny day, though, and the winds died down. That's the nice thing. So. Quartzsite city limit. Signed. Okay, the High Jolly Cemetery. Here's the High Jolly Monument. Camp of High Jolly, born somewhere in Syria, about 1828, died at Quartzsite, December 16, 1902. Came to this country February 1856. Camel driver, packer, scout, over 30 years, a faithful aide to the U.S. government. A camel's ferry? No, maybe? no. I think the guy that trained him. Showed them how to train them. They brought them over from Syria. The High Jolly Monument has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places. High Jolly, the famous camel herd with which the name of High Jolly is linked, constitutes an interesting sidelight of Arizona history. Jefferson Davis, afterward president of the Southern Confederacy, as Secretary of War, Proved a plan to experiment with camels for freighting and communication in the arid southwest. Probably a good plan. Major Henry Wayne of the U.S. Army and Lieutenant D.D. Porter, later a distinguished admiral in the Civil War, visited the Levant with the store ship supply and procured 33 camels, which were landed at Indianola, Texas, February 1856. 41 were added on a second voyage. With the first camels came as caretaker, Haiji, Haihi Ali, I guess, whose Arabic name was promptly changed to Hai Jali <laughs> by the soldiers, and this name he became universal, universally known. His Greek name was Philip Tedro on the Beale expedition in 1857 to open a wagon road across Arizona from Fort Defiance to California. The camels under High Jolly's charge proved their worth. Nevertheless, the War Department abandoned the experiment and the camels were left on the Arizona desert to shift for themselves. Chiefly roaming this particular section, they survived for many years, creating interest and excitement. Officially, the camel experiment was a failure, but both Lieutenant Beale and Major Wayne were enthusiastic in the praise of the animals, a fair trial which 
may have resulted in complete success. And we're headed over towards the bookstore. According to our neighbors, uh, Lonnie and Marilyn, they claim the bookstore is the local attraction. There's uh, a guy that runs it, runs around in a, a thong or a. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> it's quite the character, I guess. There's Reader's Oasis Books. That's where we'll be visiting in a minute. Well, here we are leaving uh, Quartzsite, Arizona. It's uh, 8, uh, 8 10 in the morning. Headed towards Joshua Tree. It's uh, February 21st. What do you think of Quartzsite, Charmaine? Not the best. It's <laughs> <laughs> of course, we got here late. There wasn't any RV shows going on or anything. So, but it's yeah, it's an experience. Not a repeat. <laughs> well, not the Joshua Tree. Finally, finally get to California. I'll show you the California line here in a minute. California state line. Inspection station. All vehicles must stop. It's just all about. Welcome to California. Yay, yay. Uh, agriculture in the station. It's okay. All set? That was easy. Yeah. Well, we made it to Cherioco, California. It's about uh, 10 o'clock California to Pacific time on the 21st. Found a little uh, free campground here behind uh, General Patton's museum. Bad. the scenery. And there's the museum. I'm going to take a hike over, over there, but I got a, looked it up online. It says it's closed through June 1st of this year uh, for remodeling. So we'll see, see what's going on. Some of the old scrap tanks uh, behind the museum. A little bit of disrepair. And there's a Freedom a Remembrance Wall. Patton and his bull terrier.
Sure. from the rear. Situation. There's only one driver, okay? Now, now, I, I kind of talked a little bit about drive in a tank, right? You know, with the, the steward tank, you know, the easy go car. This literally is a cross box, okay? So basically, it's called a T box. And 